When I was at the Islanders, uh, I had the privilege, although I wasn't there for the Stanley Cup years, to be a part of every ceremony, every number of retirement ceremony at the Islanders. It was, a, it was kind of an unofficial policy at the time that, that if you were going into the Hockey Hall of Fame or you were in the Hockey Hall of Fame, you had your number retired by the team. The one exception, and it was the absolute right move, I was part of it, and I'll stand by it forevermore, was for Bobby Nystrom, at the time was 25 years in the organization, uh, and as a player, and then later on as, a, as leader of the alumni, and also so involved in Long Island communities, and to this day, uh, that, that was the right move. Nystrom deserves to be that one exception. The last guy is John Tonelli. And it's a bit personal because, as readers of the blog know, John was my favorite player. As he was the favorite player of a lot of guys growing up, uh, a lot of young fans. I shouldn't just say guys growing up on Long Island. Uh, we loved the fact that he was always in the corners, always did all the dirty work. And if you want to make the case for John Tonelli having his number retired by the Islanders, it's not really difficult. Look at all the big goals scored during the dynasty era. Uh, start off with the biggest, Bob Nystrom's goal in 1980 to win the first Stanley Cup. Tonelli's got the assist on that goal, the primary assist. 1982, the comeback against Pittsburgh. Tonelli is involved in every play there in the third period in overtime, which leads to the comeback, keeps the drive, keeps the dynasty alive uh, for the third Stanley Cup in 1982. Kenny Morrow's goal in 1984. Look at the clip. Tonelli's one of the guys who makes it happen. The 15 consecutive regular season wins. Tonelli's got the goal. Yeah, he's all over the place. Chico Resch is playing goal for Colorado. I'm sure you'll never forget it. And Tonelli's got the goal. So it is not hard to make that case. Although technically, John's not in the Hall of Fame, and I'm not sure if he'll get there later on in life. Uh, it's not hard to make that case that he deserves to have his number retired. He's always had a good relationship with the Islanders. Yes, there was a, a falling out with the team, as it always happens when he was traded to Calgary uh, more than 20 years ago now uh, by Bill Torrey. There was a bit of a falling out there, but over time those wounds have healed. I've seen that firsthand. Uh, he's an active participant in the Islanders uh, alum, alumni. Uh, he's involved in charity events. Whenever we have an event like we did for Bob Bourne or the Corps of the Four, he's, he's one of the easiest calls to make. I'm there. Just tell me when. Uh, he's involved in the title insurance business right now, very involved with his children, coaches his son's hockey team. And uh, so he makes time for the Islanders whenever he can. Does he deserve to have his number retired? Who gets to make that call? You know, it's something I always felt a little weird about. Do we ask Bill Torrey? If we ask Bill Torrey, if we ask Al Arbor, Captain Dennis Poppin, they'd say yes, yes, yes. They'd say for everybody. So somewhere the line has to be drawn. Now that I'm not at the Islanders, uh, I don't have to make that decision anymore. I will say that John certainly deserves to be one of the next group of Islanders Hall of Famers put in. And should that happen, you know, I'll be there with my, my kids watching it. On a personal note, uh, within a week of my resignation from the Islanders, I heard from John. And um, in his own way, uh, his own way that, that made me a fan of him as a player, uh, he told me, look, you're in a different business than I am, Chris, okay? But I do have friends, I have connections, and if there is anything I could do, you know, please let me know. And as a matter of fact, when we hang up, I'm going to make some phone calls for you. And, you know, that's, that was a privilege. I mean, he's my favorite player growing up, and now to hear that from John Tonelli was, uh, was pretty neat to say the least. So don't know if I'll have his number retired. That's, that's a decision left in other hands now. Um, but either way, number retirement, Islanders Hall of Fame, I'll be there, and I'm sure more than 16,000 other people will be as well.